don't chase yields. You'll hear this reminder over and over. I think people will build a portfolio. Volumes are high, let's say. They're making, you know, five or eight or let's just say 10 grand a month or two grand a month or 20 grand a month, whatever you're doing. And then volume slows down a bit. And, you know, they their income, let's say, drops by 25%, not because they're in bad pools or positions or assets. It's just the volume, the market has kind of cooled off a little. And they start getting this panic of like, oh, I just want to get back to where I was. And they start making some really interesting decisions from that place. And typically, it doesn't work out the way we want it to. We'll chase the yield. We'll chase the yield. We're like, oh, I'm back to you know, 20 grand a month. We were just talking with a fast track client. They're back to 20 grand a month. And then I looked at the portfolio and I'm like, but you're in kind of some like really questionable things. Like, why, why are you in this? Oh, because, you know, the income dropped a bit and I just wanted to get it back up. So this is just temporary. And it's, it's the start of an addiction. It's the start of a really bad habit. If we're tracking our yields every day and we're like, oh, I'm making 15 grand a month today. And then yields, you know, volume slows down. And next day it's like, oh, I'm only doing 13. And next day it's 12. And then you're like, oh my God, I'm doing something wrong. It's like, I really just look at it once a week. Yep, some weeks it's higher, some weeks it's lower. Doesn't really matter. I believe in the fundamentals of my assets there. I like the pool. I'm in range. It's a great position. I've got cash flow coming in. And I understand that the market will do what the market does. Chasing yields never ends well. You might get lucky, and that's even worse. That's even worse. You chase the yields. You know you shouldn't, but you do. And it actually works out for you. And, you know, you 2x some kind of crap coin and something else happens, and you make, like, some awesome money, and you're like, oh, look, it worked. But at some point, at some point, it catches up to you. I was speaking from experience. I got lucky a couple times. I thought it was the crypto god, and then I lost all my gains in a roll of a dice. And I realized, oh, I'm just a mortal. And I can't predict the crypto markets the way I thought I could. And that's when, I mean, obviously, yield farming, wider ranges, zooming out and just chilling started to kind of be my MO. It's like, yeah, we're not doing that no more. It's not worth it. It's not worth the stress. It's not worth the it's not worth the um, the uncertainty of it all. And it's it's just, it's gambling. It's an addiction. It's the start of a really bad habit. So, with all due respect, if this is for you, stop chasing yield. Chill. It's why typically entrepreneurs do so well in the DeFi kind of crypto space is because they've, they've had a little exposure to that. Not all days and not weeks, not all months, not all seasons are the same. They're playing the long game. And typically, they just they have the nerves that have been, you know, through repetition instilled in them to be able to be a little more patient than maybe someone who's a little newer to this game. So if you're newer to this game, please, please take this advice. And if you're if you're a seasoned investor, if you're an entrepreneur entering this game, like it's still you're still going to be tempted to chase yield. And this is just my quick reminder to don't chase yield and play the long game. Zoom out, walk away from the computer when you know you're kind of starting to itch and click things that you shouldn't be clicking and doing things you know you just walk away it's okay your stuff's gonna your portfolio is gonna be there tomorrow crypto and DeFi is gonna be there tomorrow chill really hope that helps if you think this audio experience could help someone you know maybe this is an episode that they really really need to listen to Share it with them. If you're in the UIG, jump in. You can always share your thoughts. If something ever lands in these episodes, just jump in the community and be like, hey, I heard this. I needed to hear it or I want to talk about it or I have a question about it. Jump in, take the instructors, take me, and let's jam on it. And with that said, we'll see you inside.